going to be my August favorites because today is August 31st and so tomorrow is going to be the 1st of September. Yay! It's my birthday month. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this video and I really don't have too many products to talk about and I really don't have hardly any makeup products only because I feel like if I did show my favorites for this month it would be such um, a repetitive video because you guys have seen all, like all of my favorites in my last few videos and talking about them and in some a few tags and so I really don't want to be so repetitive that you guys are like ah oh, she's already talked about that 150 million times so I'm not gonna show those um, so this is a very very small amount of products but that's okay um, and yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started into the video. And I will go ahead and start with the, uh, I only have two makeup products, so I will go ahead and start with those first. And the first one you have seen me talk about before, but I wanted to mention it anyways. And it is the, uh, foundation I've been using, the Dream Matte, uh, mousse in Nude 4. And it just looks like this. And, um, it is just a great foundation. I really love it for my skin. It gives me a nice, um, I mean, I'm wearing it today, so this is what it looks like on my skin. It's matte, but it still has a slight glow to it, but it's not, like, it's not overly matte and it's not overly glowy either. And it lasts me all day long on my skin. Like, I love how long this stuff lasts. I can go to work. I go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I don't come home until 3, 30, 4 o'clock-ish. And um, then I usually go to the gym and work out for like an hour or two. And then I come home and my foundation is still in place. So if that gives you any hint about how long this lasts, at least on my skin, it lasts a very long time. And I absolutely love it. It is an awesome, awesome foundation for me. So if you have oily skin or maybe even oily or like normal to oily combination kind of skin this would probably definitely work great for you and I would say give it a try so that's the first one and the second one is a new concealer that I bought earlier in the month um, and if you follow me on Twitter you know I posted a tweet about asking you guys is what your favorite found um, blah slow down I can't talk today my favorite concealer is and um, who was it? It was Virtual Girl Makeup. She tweeted me and said that this was her all-time favorite um, concealer, so I decided to give it a try. And it's the Maybelline New York, um, the Fit Me Concealer. And I really don't remember. I got the shade 15 Fair. So this is what it looks like, and I believe this was like 5 or $6 where I live. I can't remember. But it has the little doeful applicator, and it is actually a really good um, concealer. Um, I really like it. I have it on today. I used it underneath my eyes to um, brighten up my face a little bit. And I really, really do like it. It's nice and creamy. It blends out perfectly. The only downfall I do find for it, and it's probably just on me because my skin's crazy, but um, I, it does crease a, just a little teeny tiny bit in my eye area right here. So I do find myself having to make sure I really powder that and smooth it in really good. Or you will see a little bit of creasing, but not too bad. So it's definitely not as bad as some other concealers that I've used. So I'm really, really liking this. If you have not tried this, I would definitely say to try it out. Um, I'm really liking it, and it has yet to break my skin out. So that's a plus for me because if you guys watch my videos, you know my skin is crazy, and it breaks out over everything. So those are my two favorite makeup products. And the rest is pretty much um, skin and face products. So um, I'll go ahead and start with the one uh, body product that I have. And it is a body lotion, and this is, oh my goodness, old. Like, I think I got this the Christmas before last. Like, it's it's pretty old. So I don't know if they sell it anymore or not. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. But it's the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Lotion. And I had put this to the back of my collection um, over the summer and over the past year because I've been getting new lotions and using them and loving them. But I pulled this one out back from the back of my little cabinet thing. And I stuck it in my purse because there's it's a small enough bottle I can fit in my purse and go. And this stuff just smells so unbelievably good. It smells exactly like the bombshell perfume. So if you have the bombshell perfume or you've ever smelt it, that's exactly what this feels like. And this is so moisturizing. It's ridiculous. I love it. It's it's amazing. And 
it's funny because anytime I put this on, my husband goes crazy, or if I'm at work and I put it on, um, my coworkers just like are like, who sprayed perfume? It smells so good. And I'm like, oh, it's me. It's my lotion. It's awesome. But anyways, I really do love this. Um, it was a gift from my husband um, one of the Christmases. Like I said, it was like the Christmas before last. So I don't know how much it costs or if they still sell it, but um, definitely check it out if they do because it smells amazing. Um, okay, on to face. And I'm going to show my favorite moisturizer for this month. And this came in my glam bag. And I have shared this before. It's the Green Apple Moisturizer by Juicy Beauty. The Organic Solution. And it looks like this. And it has an SPF of 15 in it. And it is anti-aging. And I absolutely love this stuff. It smells like Fruit Loops. I have mentioned that before. So if you like Fruit Loops, you'll love this. It smells so good. But it comes out in... Like a, let's see if I can get enough out of it. Like a literally a white sunscreen um, kind of feel. It is thick. I will warn you, it is very thick. And when I first put it on the first time I used it, I was kind of afraid it was going to break me out because it was so thick. But um, it didn't. And I love it. And I usually only, I don't put it all over my face. I just use it underneath my eyes when I'm, like before I put my makeup on. I did, I was using it at night and in the morning, but since I'm running low on it, I'm just using it in the mornings now because it does have the SPF in it. Um, so I just put it underneath my eyes lightly, around my eyes, sometimes on my eyelids, but um, I do find if I do that, I have to be really careful because um, certain mascaras that I have, when I use this, it tends to make my eyelids a little bit more oily than usual, and so it will transfer my mascara. But, um, so I'll put it underneath my eyes, sometimes on my eyelids, and I put it all over my forehead because, um, I have a wrinkly forehead anyways. So, um, yeah, so I just put it on those areas. Typically, I don't, um, put any kind of moisturizer or anything from here down because my face is oily and it tends to break out in those areas first. So, I tend to not put anything on that, um, and usually just get my SPF, usually in, um, the foundations that I use. Unfortunately, this one, though, does not have SPF in it, so that is one downfall about this. But anyways, love that um, face moisturizer. It's awesome. Um, the next thing is also from my glam bag from this month, and it is the, oh my goodness, I don't even know how you pronounce this. Eclos? Eclos? I don't know, something like that. It's a plant-based beauty plant system cell anti-aging rejuvenating cream, and the anti-aging cellular activator face serum. And we got both of these in our glam bags, and I absolutely love these. Um, I put them on every night after I do my skincare routine, and I really like them. They haven't broke my face out, and they make my face feel really clean, and I like the fact that they're anti-aging, and it's supposed to be a plant stem like activator, so I mean, I'm not going to read the whole back of this for you guys because it's just too much, but it says it's supposed to like rejuvenate your skin cells and I guess help them grow. I don't know, but it, I really like them. They're awesome. The smell of them is kind of interesting. It does have like kind of a planty tea tree smell. It's kind of minty, but planty at the same time. It reminds me of tea tree um, shampoo, the smell of it. So, love these. And lastly is what I have been using for my face routine and Thank goodness uh, my skin has been clearing up so wonderfully lately and knock on wood that it's not going to like change now that I'm saying something but I have finally found two things that have been working for me at least here lately and it's been keeping my skin under control and um, breakout free and I am really really have been excited because there have been days where I could actually just wear a little bit of concealer to work and not even wear foundation and it's just been amazing. So. The first one is my Olay Pore Minimizing Cleaner Plus Scrub, and it's oil-free. It looks like this, and um, when you get it, it's like full of these little um, turquoise and white like swirls all the way down, and it just comes in a big pump, and you pump it, but you just put it on, and you rub it into your face really good when your face is wet, and you just like, it really will like kind of set up a little bit and exfoliate really well. There are like little teeny tiny... Um, beads in it but they're really really tiny so this is something you can definitely use like on an everyday basis it's not um, anything rough that's gonna like 
uh, be too harsh on your skin. This is definitely something you can use every night. Sometimes I use it in the morning too if I have enough time when I get up um, before I go to work. But I absolutely love this. And it's funny because I used this um, when I, like, the year that I was engaged, when I first got engaged, that whole year I had used this and it kept my skin so awesome. And then for some reason I just stopped using it and I never bought it again. And then I had repurchased this earlier this year, used a little bit of it, and just put it away and used something else. Why I do that, I don't know. But I pulled this back out earlier this month and have been using it every single day. And it's just working wonders on my skin. You can get this at the drugstore. I don't remember how much it is. I think it's between like 4 to $5, somewhere in there. But it works awesome. And I've been pairing that with my um, Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Astringent Oil-Free. Um, it says fights oil, yada, yada, yada. And it's an acne medication. And I absolutely love this too. So I'll cleanse my face with this. And then I'll put a little bit of this on a cotton ball. Put it all in my face to t for the toner. And then I would use these guys. But yeah, if you guys would like to see like a whole skincare routine, like maybe me actually filming me taking off my makeup, putting this stuff on, how I kind of apply it, let me know down in the comments below. I could totally do that for you guys. Um, and yeah, that was my August favorites. I know there wasn't really a whole lot of products, but um, I do plan on hopefully being able to go shopping and trying out a few of the new makeup items that I have seen out in the stores that I'm dying to get my hands on. So hopefully there will be a mini haul for you guys soon. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments area as always. You can video response if you film your August favorites. Leave it down below and I will definitely watch it. Um, if you are not Click on these links up here. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Because um, I'm on there all the time, especially Twitter. <laughs> um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.